Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markey of Living Streams International bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. And the environment and the surrounding that you see is Ketsi of La Beach Hotel. We're so uh, thankful and we're so grateful to them for giving us the environment in which we can speak to you. Uh, this morning, I'd like to capture my thoughts. My thoughts can be found in the book of Genesis chapter 32. You know, in the book of Genesis uh, chapter 32. And I, and the, I capture my thoughts with, with the words what's in you comes out with time what's in you comes out with time now here's the principle in in, in genesis chapter 32 um it's, it's a story about uh, uh jacob at the brook called jabok now jacob has uh left um his his father-in-law liban with his two wives and his children and his goats and his cattle his sheep and everything that all his worldly possessions he was en route he was going back home and then the bible said as he was going his brother Esau uh, came to meet with him and Esau came with weapons of war and warriors obviously what he was going to do was he was going to uh, uh, distribute justice to to Jacob for cheating him on his birthright so Esau was coming with an army and Jacob was coming with sheep goats and children and 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 women now, now here is something that I that surprised me. Warriors are approaching. Warriors are coming to take you up. Warriors are coming to, to beat you up. And as a father, you are the protector of the family and you are the protector of children. You are the protector of wife. And then Jacob does something. He puts his cattle, his sheep, and all the uh, goats, and he puts them forward. And then he puts his wife and children to the next. And he was going to be the last. Now, that speaks a lot. Your brother has a beef with you. Your brother hasn't got a beef with your children or he hasn't got a beef with your wife. But if he has a beef with you and if he's coming to, 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 to slaughter, you get it, why don't you go forward and stand up there and tell him, here am I. If you want to kill me, you kill me. Sacrifice yourself for your wife and for your children so that they will live long after you. They didn't make any mistake. They were not the reason for uh, Esau's wrath. No, you are the reason for Esau's wrath. But the Bible says Jacob placed his wife and his children and his cattle first. You know what we're saying? You kill, wipe them away. Wipe my wife and my children away. By the time you get to me, you are tired. Then we can talk. That is risking other people's lives to protect your selfish interests. That was what J Jacob did. He put his wife and his children forward. He put them all forward before he now gets up to, to talk to Esau. That is pretty selfish. You'd be very surprised that sometimes in the midst of crisis, in the midst of trouble, what, what we do, we sacrifice other people in order to protect, our, to protect ourselves. Sometimes it is expedient that other people die. Sometimes it is expedient that other people take the blame for the things that we do which are wrong. And that is exactly what Jacob did. You put his wife, what have they got to do with Esau? You put your children, what have they got to do with Esau? Everything that they have, every issue they have, every, prop, every problem they have has to do with you. And this is what he did. He puts them forward in order to, so that if Esau was going to kill, to kill them. Listen, stop sacrificing other people to protect your interest sometimes you need to own up for what you do sometimes you need to stand up for what you do that is wrong do not sacrifice other people in order to protect what is wrong and you know something jacob had always had a selfish mentality a very very selfish mentality his interest comes first his blessing comes first everything that comes first at the risk of other people Sometimes, protect your loved ones by taking responsibility for what you did wrong.
is a choice. So, see you later.